talking to Jeff Smokovich, one of the up and coming pizza masters. And Jeff has been in the pizza business for a number of years, has taken a lot of classes from Tony Gemigiani, has learned lots of different styles of pizza. I want to ask you, Jeff, how you got into the pizza business? Well, it's kind of crazy how I got into the business here because I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. Um, I went to the University of Michigan and then I moved out to Telluride, Colorado soon after because I love skiing. So I lived in Telluride. I've been there for about 15 years now. But my first three years that I was there, three to four years, I had three different jobs. I was a I was basically a ski bum, but I, you know, you got to make a living somehow. So I worked in a ski shop. I was a kids camp counselor and I worked in a small pizzeria too. And then I had a fourth job once in a while as a bartender slash server. So at the end of about three, four years, my parents are like, all right, you got a degree from the University of Michigan. You got to do something. Said, well, I, I really love Telluride. I want to stay here and the pizzeria I'm working at is for sale. So I was able to scrounge up, borrow some money from five or six different people and buy into the small pizzeria called Pacific Street Pizza. And about six months after I bought into it, we changed the name and moved it to Main Street and turned it into Brown Dog Pizza. For, and then for about the first five years of Brown Dog, we were very successful. We had a liquor license. I was in my mid-20s at the time. All our friends would come in and hang out and drink. Our pizza was just average, though. And my epiphany was one night while I was in the restaurant, we did a, we just did a regular classic American pizza, but we also had a Sicilian on the menu too. And the way that we did our Sicilian was we just doubled the dough of the classic American pizza. And I had a guy, a customer, the server came into me in the kitchen and said, hey, a customer wants to talk to you out there. And I went out to talk to him and this guy's from New York. And if you know anyone from New York, you know that they have, a lot of them have very strong personalities and they have the accent too. And I knew right away, he knew what he was talking about. And he laid into me as soon as I walked out there and he goes, this is not a Sicilian pizza. You're calling it a Sicilian pizza. And we had, and, and in the middle of our dinner rush, we got in a huge argument over whether it was a Sicilian pizza or whether it was not. And I kind of made a scene in the restaurant. After I left, I, of course, felt bad about what I did. And I went back and I, and I researched Sicilian. And I realized that I was not doing a Sicilian-style pizza, yet I was calling it a Sicilian-style pizza. So that was my turning point in my pizza, in, in my pizza career when I decided I got to figure out how to make our pizza better. So I started searching out different schools that I could go to, different people that could mentor me. And I ended up finding Tony Gemignani, who's become a good friend of mine since. And I went to his pizza school. And since the day I've gone to his pizza school and got back to Telluride, my pizza recipes and my restaurant has co totally done a 180. And our sales have increased every single year at an incredible rate. And we're opening our second pizzeria now after being uh, in the industry for 10 years. So. Um, that was that moment when, it, after being in the industry for five years, that um, I realized that I wasn't doing things right, and I felt, and I needed to do things right if I wanted to stay and continue that career in the industry. What are some of the specialty pizzas that you offer at Brown Dog? Yeah, so a few years ago with Tony and then uh, some guys from Texas too that were at the school, the Hunt Brothers and Sean Randazzo, um, I grew up in Detroit and I, and I didn't have a Detroit style pizza on my menu. So we are all working on, Sean was already doing Detroit and uh, the Hunt Brothers were wanting to open their first restaurant and I wanted to add it to mine and Tony wanted to add it to his so we all got together and kind of brainstormed ideas and you know came up with our own dough recipes but we all wanted to do authentic so we had to use the pan we had to use the correct cheese the brick cheese um, we put the sauce on top we used the deck ovens all the things to make Detroit authentic, authentic Detroit style pizza um, and with that I started competing in, in pizza competitions around the world and that really forced me to come up with be creative and come up with new pizza ideas that I didn't have on my menu um, and you know in, in 2013 I won first place in the pan division at the International Pizza Challenge here in Las Vegas and I used some crazy toppings on it that I never used before. I used Genoa, Genoa salami, Calabria chili peppers, sweet picante peppers, shaved Parmesan Reggiano, arugula, um, and, it, and it was a white sauce with uh, ricotta white, whipped ricotta white sauce that I made and that won first place that year and that's my biggest selling pizza now and then again last year we won first place again just with a pepperoni and sausage pizza but it's very doctored up with Sicilian oregano and uh, whipped ricotta and little dollops on it so 
Um, the presentation of the pizza was a huge deal for me, the way that it looks to the customer, because everyone eats with their eyes, so it's got to look great, it's got to taste great, and you know, I've learned so much over the years, over the past five or six years, the changes that we've made at Brown Dog. Well, thanks a lot, Jeff, for sharing your pizza story with us and your pizza insights. Tell us a little bit about Brown Dog, how people can find you, your website, phone number, address. Yeah, we're in a small, small town in southwest Colorado. There's only 2,500 people that live in Telluride, Colorado, yet at any time we'll have 10,000 tourists there. So we are a world-renowned ski resort. Um, and we're right on Main Street in Telluride, right in the middle of town, Brown Dog Pizza. You can't miss it. We're next to Last Dollar Saloon. The saloon has been there for over 100 years. The building that we're in was Ed, Edward Nunn's building that, who invented hydroelectric uh, power. That was his office where we're at. So that was good days back to 1898, a lot of history in our building. We're in the middle of Main Street there, and then we're opening in Denver, too. Um, and it's called Blue Pan. Uh, Detroit style pizza in Denver. It's on 32nd and Perry in the West Highlands. We have websites for both browndogpizza.com and bluepandenver.com. So I hope to see you guys there someday. Okay, perfect, Jeff. Thanks a lot for taking the time to talk to me and best of luck with all your pizza adventures. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.